Art can often be difficult to understand. Symbolism that is hidden among a sea of lines and colors is not always immediately obvious to the untrained eye. Instead, we are left with a feeling of reminiscent wonder. This feeling stems from the artist provoking your awareness of your subconscious. Ideas that lie beneath her conscious framework are brought to the surface by the perceptive artist. Few artists can accomplish such a profound feat as the immortal Vincent van Gogh. One of the most well-known and easily recognizable paintings, achieving a celebrity level of fame, is van Gogh's Bedroom in Arles. One must question, how is it that routinely paintings without a famous rap career or sought after voluptuous body have achieved such a world-known status? Looking at the artistic elements at play and their connection to everlasting tropes, it becomes more clear how this is possible. During the formulation of Van Gogh's idea to paint his bedroom, he wrote a letter to his brother about what he wanted to accomplish with his work. In this letter, he wrote how he wanted to express the tranquility and bring out the simplicity of his bedroom using the symbolism of colors. The use of art and artwork is not subtle or meaningless. Color expresses mood while carefully arousing the emotions of its onlooker. As is the case between natural life and art, color can bring vibrant energy, feel for darkness, or in this case, peaceful tranquility. With a carefully selected palette, the undertone of the painting is immediately set. Van Gogh induces a meditative mindset to capture a seemingly mundane aspect of one's life and inject mindful cognition to its simplicity. It is common for painters to capture natural wonders for the awe-inspiring scenery and its so obvious jutting beauty. Van Gogh, on the other hand, saw that sources of beauty are infinite, even though the only notion of real nature stems from a suppressed light beyond the back window, he captures what most would consider a drab room and turns it into a sight as mysteriously possessing as one of the world's seven natural wonders. Line is further used to emphasize natural wonderment. The lines in the painting are best described as undulating, flowing, and wavy. Wavy lines are associated with the ocean or water, which can be highly calming and spiritual. A wavy line can represent a flowing nature and a natural rhythm. The juxtaposition of an entirely man-made surrounding with the natural physical world perpetuates throughout the painting. An immortal painting like this one lives on forever because of the ongoing cultural significance embedded within it. Humans now spend more time indoors than ever. If not in our houses, we are likely at work or in school. Especially during the pandemic, many people feel like a prisoner in their own homes. Van Gogh's bedroom in Arles reminds us that natural beauty is all around us, if only we stop to pay attention to it. Another rare person born with the artist's deeply perceptive soul is Pierre Pouvet de Chavanez. He was known as the leading French mural painter of the late 19th century. Admirations for his pieces knew no bounds, as they were glorified by the likes of George Seurat and Paul Gauguin. Sewn into each painting of his was a profound allegorical commentary. His art was a speech, commenting on the deepest questions of human existence. One particularly profound painting of his is called Young Girls by the Seaside. The components of the painting consist almost entirely of three girls grooming themselves by the ocean shore. The stark simplicity of the painting is striking, yet even with so little visible, one cannot help but to be thrown into an enticing gaze. Pierre explained this phenomena by saying, To simplify, that is to release the thought. The simplest conception proves to be the most beautiful. His thought process behind his work was to portray a broad message by distilling complex ideas into their most basic components, then analyzing the interplay between them. Pierre possessed masterful use of color, and he was able to use this to guide the audience's gaze between the necessary components in his art. Careful placement of the woman by the seaside alludes to the greater overall meaning of this piece. An ocean is a vast, expansive, and endless symbol. Waves of the ocean have rhythmically swayed on our earth for billions of years, making it a near immortal fixture. Contrasting the young girls against such a symbol engages the audience consciousness of their own mortality. Drawn from supple flowing lines, the girls further represent the fragility of humans 
seeming even more diminished when placed by the timeless ocean. Lighting coming from a setting sun peering out just beneath the ocean represents a transistory phase between light and darkness, life and death. It is becoming clear that his overall purpose is to force one's own mortality upon them. Although death is an inevitable outcome for all, Pierre offers a solution of how to live under our own daunting conditions. One girl in the middle of the painting embraces the ocean by facing toward the deathly reminder. In doing so, she portrays fearlessness, and her muscles protrude, showing her strength. The girl to the right only allows the endless nature into her periphery. She is quite literally unable to stand it, but shows some strength in propping herself up using her elbow. The third and final girl is the most weak. She leaves behind the message that by not confronting mortality, instead crumbling under its pressure, we weaken ourselves, as is proved by her void of posture. She also makes herself the most vulnerable with her breasts in complete view. Young Girls by the Seaside reminds us that death is certain, but the way we choose to confront it is entirely up to us. Throughout our lives, we have all been the young girls in this picture. As we mature or face adversity, we embody each of them, making this painting as timeless to the human spirit as the ocean to our earth.